Thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. John 15. John 15, verse 3. This is the word from your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He said, you are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. For remain in me, as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. Praise the Lord. Can you hear me there? You can hear me? Okay. Verse 5, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Tell your neighbor, say, apart from Jesus, you are nothing. And you can do nothing. Yes, simply means life without Jesus is not life. Life without Jesus is not what? He said you are, you are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. When you believe in his word, it is the word now to clean your life. I've been telling you this. Fasting is good. But if it is not from the Spirit of God, it is not good. Fasting is profitable if it is from the Holy Spirit. If it is from the situation, it is not profitable. It is only dangerous to your life. Verse 4, remain in me as I also remain in you. Remain in Jesus as he also remained in you. If you are sure that Jesus is in you and you are in Jesus, even the way you live in this world will not be like any other person. If you look at mango tree and you are looking for a orange, you cannot find the orange on mango tree. It is not possible. It is orange tree that can bear oranges. If you say you are for Jesus, your character, your appearance must be like Jesus. The greatest achievement in life is salvation. Let me repeat this word again. The greatest achievement in life is salvation. What you love so much here on earth will love you salvation. You'll be like someone who wants to bear something, but at the end of the day, you cannot because you are a branch which is not connected to any tree. Let me finish this one so that you... Jesus said, remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. If you remain in Jesus, what your family cannot do, what your father and your mother failed to do or your uncle, because of Jesus in you, you break the record. I'm talking to you people of God. If you remain in Jesus, what anyone has ever, I mean, what they cannot do, you, it will be possible for you. Because Jesus is the way maker. Even where it seems to be nowhere, 
he will make a way for you. For the sake of his name, Jesus can do anything. This is verse 5b. You will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Because of time, we'll continue with this message. Apart from Jesus, whatever you feel that you know you become in life, you are nothing. God is not a respecter of any man, if you don't know. What you respect as human beings, maybe your career, your money, your job, your what, or you want to make a name, there are people who are there. They made a name that, oh, wow, today they are buried with their what? Their history. It is only Jesus who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What you are claiming that you have achieved this and that, if it is not the salvation, it is nothing and meaningless to you. The greatest achievement in life is salvation. Is what? Is it money? Is it marriage? Is it children? There are people who used to be committed, serious, to the work of God. But today, because of money, or being marriage, or children, they are no longer interested in worshiping God. Their focus is to make the wife or the husband happy. And you are forgetting that the one who is sustaining you, both of you, husband and wife, is Jesus. Jesus said, apart from me, you can do what? If you are counting money today, tomorrow you'll be poor. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He knows how to fight for his people. He knows how to protect his children. What you are doing today, as long as you are working with Jesus, no one can destroy it. No one can destroy it. Enemies will rise against you. But as long as Jesus is involved, they are just pushing you very close to him and advertising you that you are doing this business or you are working in this company so that the MD can see you and promote you. So stop complaining if Jesus is part of your life and you are part of Jesus. It's not your battle. It is the battle for who? He said, apart from me, you are what? You love your home, your children, your money. Sometimes you just, you know, sleeping and watching TV. No, ndelo le lava, na chuano kuya kucheiji. Le seo mwingala chitefio. Le safio yu ino wa mire ngoku wa muntu. No kumona mule mwana no kutontonga nya mule tontonga nya. You compare him to your fellow human beings. People of God. This is the only chance that you need, you know, to come back to your father. In shtanga ya apwe ya pachalo. There is no reverse care. Remain in Jesus. Tell your neighbor, say, remain in Jesus. Without Jesus in your life, you are nothing. Your money is nothing. Your house is nothing. Your vehicle is nothing. There are people who are in the hospital now. They are lying lifeless. They are lifeless. Let's go. Come and drive me. It is only Jesus. It is only who? The man on the cross of Calvary. He knows how to fight for his people. Don't trust anyone. Trust only who? Without Jesus? No matter how beautiful you may feel that you are beautiful, my sister, you are ugly without who? Thank you. God bless you.